It's exciting times. Star Citizen Alpha 3.24 just dropped into Evo Cadi. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Mariah Pulse. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of June. Let's get into the video. All right. Finally, after a long wait, Star Citizen Alpha 3.24 just dropped into the PTU for Evo Cadi only. All right. So. Um, we got our hands on the patch notes and we're going straight into it as per usual testing focus for this one um, is uh, personal in instance hangers freight elevators storage access hover trolleys nice hanger decorations guys decorations is in nice all right what's not ready for testing is cargo hauling missions uh cargo commodity rebalance dynamic event blockade runner all right so um, it says this build have a shutoff time of 10 p.m. Um, with a caveat that it may be uh, taken down sooner based on stability. Okay, so um, there's quite a few known issues. We're not going to cover those in this. Um, so under gameplay features, under gameplay category, it says 3.24 fundamentally changes how players interact and organize their belongings. From cargo to items to ships for elevators will introduce new mechanics for retrieving and storing large items at various locations. Hangers will now be instant and in case of personal hangers, persistent, everything within them. That is pretty cool. Hangers are now spawned via ship elevators and item banks now replace the omnipresent local inventory to connect these updates with other existing content we're also introducing hover trolleys and hangar decorations in 3.23.2 it's actually 3.24 it looks like it's a typo there so they need to update that under personal instance hangers it says introducing new tech that creates an instance of a player's hangar to allow for uninterrupted management of cargo inventory and vehicles Personal hangers are found at player's home location and allows for customization and organization of hanger interior. All interior types are instanced, meaning they are able to physically stack on each other in the same location without interference. All hanger types have ASOP terminals, item banks, and freight elevators. SCU amount depend on hanger size. All hanger types have ship elevators, platforms which will lower when players request a ship to be spawned any ship already on the platform will be lowered and stored via asap all hangar types should be accessible to party members of the hangar owner players can only retrieve ships while inside a hangar that fits the size of the hangar personal hangars exist for players at the select home location at all times and is as big as the largest ship on the player's account ship purchased in game that don't increase the size of the personal hangar any items left in the hangar will persist indefinitely though items on the ship's loading platform may disappear interesting interesting super exciting all right so under freight elevators it says implementation of systems and content for players to physically load and unload cargo to and from their ships by conveying cargo to and from hangars landing pads garages docking collars for the new cargo flow we will be storing cargo in local player inventory and allowing them to use the free elevators in their hangar to access the inventory physically this will be extended to cover the location inventory access that is currently handled by personal inventory this means that anything stored to or retrieved from the local inventory at a location must be accessed by a freight elevator. Furthermore, we will be removing the invisible player inventory for vehicles in favor of using physicalized inventory inside the ship. All ships have at least one small personal inventory that the player can put personal items for easy access. Additionally, we will be adding physical inventory containers available for players that um, players can use to store and haul larger items in the cargo hold. The freight elevator kiosk will have added functionality for inventory management. More on this below. 
including sub inventory like these boxes so players can move things around and recall it from manual transfer on and off their ship. Players can find freight elevators in the personal and staging hangars as well as outposts, outposts interesting, and scrapyards. Players can interact with freight elevator kiosks to load items onto the elevator platform. Players can put items on freight elevator platform and then interact with the kiosk to store items to their warehouse. Players can see information about mission relevant items when storing and retrieving them via freight elevator kiosk. Interesting. Next, it says a uh, commodity kiosk update. It says players can buy different SU size containers via commodity kiosk. Upon purchase of the commodity, players can choose to automatically load them onto a stored ship at a cost of AUEC or automatic loading service. This is nice. This will take an amount of time during which the ship will be inaccessible for automatic loading process. Information on loading progress is via the ASAP terminal. So, so next is storage access. It says storage access kiosks exist in various places in all landing zones and space stations. These kiosks replace the old local inventory. Using these kiosks, players can store and retrieve FPS items via the storage access UI. Next is hover trolleys. As players can purchase hover trolleys at cargo decks in space stations and dumpers depot in landing zones. These can be retrieved and stored via freight elevators. These new hover trolleys can navigate much rougher terrain then wheel trolleys. Interesting. Next is hangar decorations. This is one of the ones I'm really excited about. 3.24 brings decorations into players' hands. These new decorations can be purchased at Kelto. Ooh, nice. And Dumpers Depot. Um, then retrieved from their hangars freight elevator. These decorations can be placed anywhere uh, a player wants their hangar and have full interaction like sitting on chairs and couches caveat that ship's platform will delete items stored on the ship's elevator while storing ships hangar decorations will persist in a persistent hangar but will get deleted in staging hangars um hangars that you don't own outside of your main landing zone so the staging hangars are the um, temporary ones that you would get when you're not at your home location okay so and it says here they've added ESP dampening strength modifier to game setting tab and Moby Glass contract app UI has also had a UI pass. Um, under ships and vehicles, they made further minor flight control tuning changes to most ships for afterburn and SEM speeds. They've increased the RSI Mantis engine's attachment health. They've reduced the RSI Mantis emissions. They've greatly increased the health on all ship gimbal sizes. That is super exciting. All right, guys, there's a lot of bug fixes in this one. If I go through them, it's going to be too long of a video. I don't want to bore you with that. So I'm going to leave the link to this in the description of this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.